San Antonio living Thanksgiving like two weeks away. Then we've got Christmas, holidays are around the corner, and so we need some advice from our etiquette expert, Diane Gottsman. It's good to see you. Thank you. I love this. These are all viewer questions. Every one of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if you hear your question answered on air, hopefully um, the person you wrote it about isn't also watching. <laughs> I'll try to change the names a little no, bit on the fly. they are. That makes True. it easier. It does make it easier. Yes. That takes the, you know, you don't have to say anything now. All right, question number one regarding the holidays. How do I tell my parents that I want to spend Thanksgiving or Christmas Eve with my in-laws? You just have to tell them. You know, we just have to get brave enough to tell them. Mm -hmm. And on the other side of this story, the, the parents need to understand Absolutely. that once you get married, things change. Mm -hmm. So take that gracefully when they tell you they're not spending Christmas Eve with you. It's okay. <laughs> There's a Christmas Eve and a Christmas morning for a reason, right? We That's share right. those things. Okay, here's another question from a viewer. Can I discipline my older sister's devilish kid for playing <laughs> too rough with my dog? I didn't write that. They said devilish kid. <laughs> I love it. And the answer is yes. You okay. have to be able to protect your dog and your children if somebody is beating them up. Yeah, you and have hopefully to. your sister will notice too. But if not, you've got to say, uh, let the dog's leg alone. Don't mm -hmm. don't hurt the dog. Or so if it's in alone. your house, yeah. you're allowed to kind of take control of that situation. It's your house, your rules. Okay, very good. Here's an interesting question. How can I tell my parents that I do not want my children to get video games for Christmas without hurting their feelings? You know, again, you just have to tell them. You know, Mom, we just don't want the kids to see these games mm -hmm. or, you know, see this, this kind of video. And if Mom gets it anyway, then it's up to you to either say they're not going to they're not going to watch it or donate it to a charity. Of course, you know if you donate it, I don't know if you want to donate that kind of video to the charity. I don't know if they'll take it. Who knows? But that's a that's a good point. You know, you just need to sit down with your my my mom, my mother in law. She always asks me what the kids yeah. want, and we offer them a list. In fact, the kids take great pleasure in putting together that list. It's their favorite thing to do. Okay, here's a good question. Shouldn't I have first dibs at staying at my parents' house for the holidays? Their best friends are coming into town and have claimed my old room. I'm 34, but still possessive of my space. 34. So, okay. Now, I know we still like our rooms when we go home, but I think that we need to take our, our parents in consideration. Sure. And if they invited their friends, that means that they want their friends to come over. Their friends get yes. the room and you get the couch. That's right. With the sleeping bag. We have to be a grown-up about this. Okay, so you don't have to have your old room. Yes. Of course not. You really don't. Okay, how long do I have to stay at my in-law's house before I can go home and enjoy my own Christmas day? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot drop and go. Okay, drop the presents and leave, and you can't pick up the presents and leave. So okay. you need to stay long enough that you have a little eggnog with them, breakfast, whatever they're offering, and just say, you know, we want to spend Christmas at our house, so we have a little bit of time we want to spend with you, and then just tell them. Again, it's all about telling the truth and being up front in a nice way. So like 10 minutes after no. you open the presents? <laughs> not is that long minutes. enough? Maybe 30 minutes. One egg later. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, if I am asked to bring a couple of bottles of wine to a friend's party and the second bottle is only half empty, can I take the remainder home? No. I did not write that. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, that was not my question. No. Leave that bottle because it makes you look cheap. Yeah. It makes you look cheap and drunk. Okay. okay. So just yeah. leave that Don't ask for the bottle. <laughs> no, no, no. What's the rule on re-gifting Aunt Helga's crocheted sweater? You are not going to re-gift it because she's going to want to see you in it. So take a picture and send yes. it to her and put it away because it's itchy, but you don't want to get rid of that. That's going to be an heirloom. You cannot, no, you cannot get rid of handmade gifts. Yeah, well, no. some. No. Can you re-gift <laughs> stuff, though, if you want to that's not handmade? If you're real careful and it's in, if it's in its own package and if okay. you are absolutely certain that they're not going to find out and don't pass it off as, as yours. Don't put this Big Lots uh, gift in a Tiffany's box and say, here you go. Because they're going to try and return like, it. Good one. I like that. <laughs> All right. How do I respond to the dreaded, when are you going to have a baby question? It's so frustrating and I feel on guard for the rest of the day. I know. And it's rude. We shouldn't ask. If they're not telling us, we shouldn't ask. And okay. you can say, you know, I say tongue in cheek, tell them they're going to be the first 500 to find out. In other when words, I post it on my Facebook page, not that's their when business. Find out. Okay. But you don't say not your business. Right. Just say, you know what, we're that's another conversation, another time we'll let you know when we're ready. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, that's an Easter conversation. <laughs> yeah. Uncle Ernie regularly launches into political rants that tend to get the whole family riled up since not everyone agrees with his views. How can we keep him quiet at the holiday dinner? Give him that other half a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Just say, Uncle Ernie, not today. This is for family and friends. We don't want to get 
Aunt Helga riled up. So right. let's just table this for That's, another time. It, that happens a lot. I believe some of my family members sent these questions yeah. in. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> All right, and finally, my family is just not prepared to have out-of-town guests stay over with us for Christmas. How do we politely encourage them to stay somewhere else? Again, honesty. Just say, you know, as much as I'd love to see you, our house is just not ready. So here's a list of low-cost Ramada Inn, Cletus. <laughs> Low cost. So close by alternatives. Yes, yeah. yes. You just have to be honest because it's going to be miserable if you're all cramped into one room, mm -hmm. into your mom's room. That's right. <laughs> That's right. What's your best tip for getting through the holidays? Because it is such a trying time for people. Just take it easy and relax yeah. and just lower your expectations. Everyone should have fun and remember the true meaning, which is about family and friends. It really is. And you know what? I know you're all going to have a good time. We always do. And it all, we can talk about it for years to come. Remember that one Thanksgiving? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good Uncle times. Ernie. Thanks Aunt Helga. Good story. That's right. Diane, these are great answers. Thank you guys for sending in questions, too. Diane is with the Protocol School of Texas on Freedom Drive. You can check her out at psotx.com or her website, diannegotsman.com. And you can give her a call at 826-7400 for more information.